Cebu has maintained its rank as the richest province in the country. From 35.65 billion in 2018, Cebu province assets have grown to 203.9 billion in 2019, marking a 400% increase. With a good list of ongoing multi-billion projects, Cebu will surely maintain its rank. But, with its increasing population, how would Cebu supply enough clean water for everyone? Earth is 71% water, 3% is fresh water, but only about 1% is available. Some are locked up in glaciers, polar ice cups, atmosphere, and soil highly polluted. Water lies too far under the Earth's surface to be extracted at an affordable cost. And so comes desalination. It is a technique where the exist salts are removed from seawater or brackish water, converting it into safe, potable, or usable water. And Cebu is not new to this technology. Pilipinas Water Resources, or PWRI, has been extracting and desalinating 9,000 cubic meters per day in five active wells around the South Road properties, providing clean drinking water to major developments in the area. They are planning to expand their operations to 14,000 cubic meters per day as they have earned a contract with MCWD to distribute 6,000 cubic meters to the local water utility. In addition, power firm Vivant Corporation is looking to invest up to 3 billion pesos for a desalination project in Cebu. This is seen to deliver up to 30 million liters per day. And this is Cebu, moving on and moving forward.